Hi traders, welcome back to another how-to video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use MetaTrader 5 on your Android device. But before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it as much as possible because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are using iOS, I did make a video before this one, so definitely check it out. Now that you guys have done that, let's get right into the video. So how to get access to the MetaTrader 5 app, you'll have to download the app from the Play Store. And once you have downloaded your app, let's open up the app. So what you will see is that the app will first prompt you to accept the terms and conditions and then open a MetaTrader 5 demo account. Now I normally suggest that you actually open a demo account of a broker that you are using and if you don't have a broker that you are using, I would like to recommend QuickJ. Register a trading account with my recommended broker Quick Trade. You'll receive a 100% deposit bonus, withdrawals in less than 25 minutes to 3 hours, low spreads, MetaTrader 5 on cell phone and on laptop, trading support 5 days a week, and they now offer micro indices so you can trade with as little as $10 for a dollar account and 100 rand for a rand account. This is fantastic news for those who have been interested in trading but are on a tight budget. But obviously, the more money you have in your trading account, the more money you can make. And I will make sure that I leave the link at the bottom of my description at the end of the video for you. So once you have selected your broker, like I said, you can either open a demo or a live account. To open a demo account, you will click where it says MetaTrader 5 Demo and then click the plus sign in the corner and then you enter the name of your broker. In this case, it would be QuickTrade. So once you've registered an account with QuickTrade, you can either open a demo or a live account. Um, you'll simply enter your login details such as your login and your password and as opposed to when you have a demo account, a live account should have your name appearing at the top. And then once you've registered your account, we can now move on to the the first tab which is quotes so let's start by explaining what quotes are so quotes refer to current market prices of different financial instruments we have um, examples such as your currency pairs indices commodities so depending on which one you're looking to trade at the time quotes updated in real time and help traders to make healthy trading decisions here are a list of quotes that you I would normally see on MetaTrader 5 on your Android device you would see bid price. So bid price is the highest price a buyer is willing to pay for a specific instrument. And ask price is a specific price that a seller is willing to accept for a specific financial instrument. Once you click the symbol on your top right, you should come across information such as managing accounts. Now, if you only have a demo account, it should say read only. And then you will see trade, news, mailbox, journal, settings, economic calendar, traders, community, and about. So about is obviously just more about MetaTrader 5 as an app. And then if you click on the plus sign in your far right, you should see uh, adding a symbol. So this is where you get to add a specific symbol that you would like to look at, such as forex, metals, indices, commodities, and so forth. And then on your far right, right next to the plus symbol, you should see a pencil light symbol, which goes hand in hand to adding symbol. Okay, now that we understand what quotes are, let's move right along to charts. So when you open your charts tab, you should come across um, dates as well as prices for a specific currency pair or whatever instrument you are currently looking at. And on the top left, you should come across the name of the instrument you are looking at. And in this case, Euro USD is an example. So right next to that, you should see your time frames. Um, the time frames basically determine how long each candlestick was able to form within a specific period. So for example, if you're looking at a four hour time frame, each candlestick that appears on your chart would have taken four hours to form. And you will also notice that wherever you click on your chart, you will get different options as to different time frames you can look at. And then right next to the time frame, you will see a cross like symbol that is referred to as a cross hair. So when the cross hair is on, your chart cannot move. And right next to that, we have an F like symbol, which is a symbol for indicators. So traders can use various technical indicators to their chart to help with market analysis. Most common used technical indicators can be your RSI, your MACD, your Bollinger Bears, and your moving averages. 
And then the most important thing on your chart are the price movements. Charts display the price movement of a specific financial instrument over time. The traders can use this information to determine their next informed trading decision. And right next to the indicator symbol, you will see a dollar sign like symbol. This is where you get to select a specific currency pair, indice or commodity that you would like to appear on your chart. And then on your far left, you will see that there is a page with a plus like symbol on it and that would be your trading window. So the trading window typically includes information such as the financial instrument you would like to trade or your trades running in real time. You will also get options such as selecting your volume size, your stop loss, your take profit and your deviation. And more information includes your sell limit, buy limit, sell stop, buy stop, um, buy stop limit and your sell stop limit. And moving right along from that, we have our trade window. So the trade window is similar to the trade tab, however, it gives you more detailed explanations as to what is currently happening with your account. So you will see information such as your balance. So balance is just the total amount of money that you have in your trading account. And then right below that you'll see equity. Equity is the value of the trading account considering both realized and unrealized profits and losses of all open positions. Then right below equity we have your margin percentage so it is a percentage that acts as a warning indicator to traders of a potential margin call if the value drops too low the margin call occurs when the broker requests an additional fund to be deposited into the account to cover the potential losses of any open position so I know this is the one that a lot of traders are not a fan of but it is really important and it plays a large role in you not blowing your account. And then finally we have our history window and then history window, this is where you get to see your profits, the deposit you made into your account, the swaps that were charged, commission as well as balance, right? The total balance of your account and right next to that you will see orders and deals but that's not to be worried about your main concern is the positions window in your history window that states your profit deposit swap commission as well as your balance so right at the far left of your history window you will come across a calendar like symbol this is where you get to see um, the different positions open within a specific period of time and then next to that we have two arrows one facing up and down this is where you get to see the symbol ticket the volume the open time the close time as well as your profit and then right next to those arrows facing up and down there is yet again the dollar sign which will show you all the symbols meaning your currency pairs commodities as well as indices and then moving right along from the history window we have messages so messages are just messages that you would receive either from your broker or the MetaTrader 5 app itself. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget guys, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and be sure to share this video as much as possible because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Um, click the bell notification button so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And as always, happy trading.